We are in Mount Pleasant, Iowa, and Brian took me here to a tractor show. Yeah, we gotta show them how it's done. What's the name of this place again? <laughs> Midwest Old Pressures Reunion. Yeah, I have no idea what this place is about. I'm just here for the ride, so let's go. Midwest Old Threshers Reunion celebrates the rich agricultural heritage of the Midwest since 1950. For five days, antique tractors chugs through the fields and steam engines roars to life. This event showcases vintage farming equipment, lively demonstrations, and a vibrant marketplace. There are over 2,000 exhibits and attractions honoring America's rural legacy. Come join us as we step back in time. I heard there's a steam train, we want to check that out. But look at this, park in somebody's house. So that is where we parked. All right, so we learned the first thing. It's $15 to get in here. Uh, under 10, it is free. So Rosalie, you're free. So it looks like this is an annual event. And that's what I was told by the people that I parked at. So sometimes we're a little bit out of our comfort zone. To be honest with you, we've never gone to a tractor show before, so we have no idea what to expect. But sometimes, not being sure if I go to a place kind of gives a little excitement to it. Right off the bat, I realized this was not a typical Santos Chronicles type of trip today. If you look right here, there's a steam-powered machine that goes in circles, and this rope right here spins the carousel. Today we're a split squad, Addison has an event, so Melissa's driving her around. So today it's just me and little Rosalie. As we walk today, it's gonna be a little loud, lots of trains, whistles, steam-powered items. But our first mission is find Brian and his parents. And they said they're by the American flag in the trolley, so all the way straight out there, see that American flag? That's where we gotta go. This is like, where's Waldo, but where's Brian? Brian! So I think we're gonna try to check out the tram and get a lay of the land to see what they have here, right? We figured we'd be able to cover more ground to look for Brian taking this tram. As you can see on this map, this place is ginormous. I really underestimated how big this place is. Look how many farm equipments is right here. And of course, a big fan favorite here are all the different steam engines. And for my RVer friends, there is a 72 acre campground where visitors can stay. While we're here, I have one goal, and that's to be able to ride this steam train. So now, let's look for Brian. Look, they're, just, they're shredding the logs. Wow. They're just cutting it, see like the wood. Yeah, I think they're making a, uh, for tree. Hey Brian, tell everybody about your channel. Oh, I'm someplace or another because I'm always someplace or another. I'm doing tractor shows, car shows, museums, anything I find fascinating. If it's got wheels and a motor, I'm making a video of it. It says help wanted, so if Brian wants to boost his videos, oh. uh, you can just work in one of these places. <laughs> Maybe I should. <laughs> So for my Gen Z friends here, this is a newspaper and that's how they printed it back in the day. So this is what a YouTuber looks like in the wild, right there. This one by far has the most steam engines I've ever seen at a tractor show. And this guy is an expert. He goes to like, I think it's every weekend. I've been to a lot of shows too. I like one every weekend for like last month. <laughs> <laughs> Look how tall that is, Rosalie. <laughs> that wheel is taller than Brian. Hey Brian, it looks like we have a good spot here. Right in the middle right the of the, uh, the action. I hope we don't get run over when we get. Look at this, guys. <laughs> what 
When was your first tractor show? It was the one in Greenville, uh, Illinois. This was my second tractor show here. And now you're like a pro. Yeah, it's like a cousin. I'm hooked. <laughs> I, got one, I got one every weekend this month. <laughs> On our way to the steam engine, Rosalie and Brian's mom wanted to ride the tractors. Farmer Rosalie! Good job, Rosalie! And right coming up is Brian's mom. <laughs> All right, it's time for the pony rides. They charge five dollars here. Thank you, Jim. What a big girl! I don't think pony rides ever get old. And now we're finally here, the Midwest Central Railroad. All right, Rosie, you got your tickets? Yes, I got. Okay, the hold on to those tight because they won't let us on without that. You got Brian and. Brian's mom and dad partying with us today. How did you find out about this place and what makes you keep coming back? I stumbled upon it from a coworker. <laughs> and I've been back here three times now. It's the biggest tractor show I've ever been to. So Rosie and I, we've never ridden a steam engine before. So this is pretty exciting. The outdoor one, it's great because you can get some great shots. You can feel the steam. The bad thing is, it's hot. <laughs> anything for the video. <laughs> anything for the video. That's two. Here it goes. Thank you. So this train takes you through a 1.25 mile loop around the Reunion Showgrounds. Trains depart from the North Station at the north end of the grounds in the North Village and the MCRR Museum and Educational Center north of the Heritage Museum. Dude, that, that was pretty amazing. You know, I, I've never ridden a steam engine before. Oh yeah, it's fun, isn't it? But when you try to do a YouTube video, sometimes it's hard because all of the steam is flying all oh, over the place. Steam, and sometimes you get particles like wood and coal flying in your face. Yeah, but makes the experience a lot more. So if you have a family and you're around this area, I definitely think it's something you should try. Okay, that was successful. The steam engine train ride was really fun and Rosie loves the kids section. Uh, you could be here all day, uh, but we got tired, so Rosie wants to check out the pool, so time to head back. If you're looking for more Iowa adventures, click the video link right here.